This is the BSM Real Estate Podcast. All things real estate, all the time. Hey, hey, everybody. This is Daniel Krakowski from BSM Real Estate, bringing you the Monday Motivation Podcast. I'm joined today by my co-host, none other than Goran Vazovich. Say what up. What up, everybody? You guys ready to get pumped up? Here we go, getting pumped. So, starting off today, we read an article on Bigger Pockets forums, Bigger Pockets articles. Great article. Got us super fired up, super motivated. Pause for a second. If you're not a member of biggerpockets.com, boy, you're missing out. A you got to join. A lot of good stuff. It, it's free to join. And if you want to get the premium content, it's a little bit it's a, it's a little bit of money, maybe like a worth it. Couple hundred bucks. We but use it. 100% worth it. All the time. So what we want to do is we want to share with you uh, this video and this article. In it, uh, the, the article's titled, Spend Three Minutes to Change the Next 30 Years of Your Life. You got three minutes? Yeah. I got three minutes. I, I got think, three minutes. I think it's been, what, a minute so far? That's nothing. That's nothing. We got, two, we got two more minutes for 30 years of, you know. Success. Complete money, Real estate exactly. deals. Yeah. Exactly. So anyways, the... Uh, the link to the article and the video will be um, in this podcast or below, wherever you're watching it, either. In the description, In right? the description, the YouTube, iTunes, whatever, so you can check it out. But we're, we'll play it for you. It's only three minutes, so don't go away uh, right now. Ready? Play it. Can you really change your life in just three minutes? Well, my name is Brandon Turner with biggerpockets.com, and today I want to share with you one of the most profound yet ridiculously simple concepts I've ever heard. Something that could change the next 30, 50, or even 100 years of your life in just the next three minutes. But first, let's try a very brief exercise. Now, close your eyes. I know, I know, I know. It's going to get a little bit weird here, but trust me, it's okay. Close them. Closed? All right. Now, picture yourself. Right now, today, what are you wearing? Where, where are you at? How much money is in your bank account? How much freedom do you enjoy? How much time do you spend with family and friends? Uh, how many friends do you have? What does your life look like now? Now, do you got that mental picture of who you are in your mind? Okay, keep your eyes closed, but erase that image and replace it with an image of who you want to become. Imagine the perfect you, perfect future you. Think about how you want to look and how you want to feel. How do you want people to perceive you? How much time do you spend traveling, volunteering, hanging out with family? What does your business look like? And what about your investments? Okay, now open your eyes and tell me, what is the difference between the mental picture of you today and the mental picture of you in the future? Well, ultimately, the difference between who you are today and who you want to become comes down to one thing, your choices. The choices that you make each and every day going forward determine whether you are getting closer or further away from the person that you want to become. Which brings me to the concept that's so simple yet so profound, it'll change your life, and it's this. If you don't like something, change it. I'm going to say that again, and then I'm going to explain what it means in a little more detail. If you don't like something, change it. Now, as human beings, we have the incredible power to choose almost everything in our life. So you don't like where you live? You can change that. If you don't like what you look like, you can change that as well. You don't like how much money you have in your bank account? or how much time you have to spend at work every week, will change it. Now, of course, this is an obvious statement. We all know that life can be changed, but do we actually make those changes in our life or do we just complain about it and go back to watching the next episode of our favorite television show? Take, for example, the guy working 50 hours a week at a desk job. He's 40 pounds overweight, bored out of his mind, and watching the clock slowly tick, tick, tick his life away. He complains about the situation to his wife, but nothing changes in his life to change his position. He just shows up day after day after day, wishing for more. He sees other people living incredible lives, and he thinks, boy, they sure are lucky. But then let's talk about the single mother working two jobs to support herself and her three kids, but longing for something more. She spends her time actively changing her situation. She listens to educational audiobooks and podcasts on her drive to work. She stays up late working on her side business after all the kids go to sleep. She seeks out information that can truly help her change. And slowly, week after week, her life begins to change. Before you know it, she's running a million dollar a year business, changing the financial destiny of her family forever. Now, was the woman in the story more intelligent than the man that in the previous story? Of course not, right? She just made the choice and the choices to change. 
Now, I'm telling you uh, this is not easy. Of course, it's not, right? It takes wisdom to accept that where you are today uh, is different from where you want to be. It takes discipline to seek the education rather than entertainment needed to get there. And it takes a lot of hard work to change the direction of a life. But isn't that better than the alternative? Wouldn't you rather change just a few years of discipline now to become the future, better version of yourself that you pictured in your mind just a few moments ago? The late great author and speaker Jim Rohn once said, life doesn't get better by chance, it gets better by change. And the beautiful thing about change is that it happens in an instant. So will you make the change in your life right now that's going to transform the next 30, 50, or 100 years of your life? I hope so. Now, if you believe the words I'm telling you today, I'm going to ask three quick things of you. Number one, don't keep it to yourself. Teach somebody else this stuff today. A very easy way to do that, of course, is share this video on your Facebook feed so your family and friends can change as well. Secondly, if you guys like this video, click the thumbs up button on the video player so the internet knows there's value here in these words. And number three, go tell your parents, your kids, or your spouse that you love them. Because remember, life is short, precious, and deeply rewarding. For BiggerPockets.com, my name is Brandon Turner, signing off. Did you do it? Did you visualize it? I, I sure did. Did you? I did. I saw myself as I am right now, well-dressed today, but... You know what? I got to tell everybody who's listening is that if you've never met Daniel or have seen Daniel, he's actually dressed to the T to the all day long. And all day, every he day. He sets the precedence. I mean, we're talking about three-piece suits all day long, all the time. Even at pizza parties, he comes with a suit. They call me Daniel Timberlake. It, <laughs> I'm fresh. I keep it cut. <laughs> I, I mean, for, that's exactly, 100%. You got to. And so when you visualized yourself, what did you see? What was the difference between what you see now and what you want to see? You know, the person that you wanted to become. You know, I think um, a, a lot of people have the vision or they want to be something or they want to change something and very few take action. And the biggest difference, I think, for me is actually, you know, just committing to taking action. Are you saying you are, are you saying you are the person you want to be right now? You already got it? It's a, it's a work in progress. Are you every, giving me the every, Matthew McConaughey speech? No, <laughs> every day is a work in progress, man. You know, you know it every single day. Just try to you know set the bar higher and then try to achieve it by executing or taking action. Exactly right. And I think the one thing that you know, just continuing on from what they were talking about in that video, talking about in that article, is that once you've identified who you want to be, how what you kind of changes you want to make, you're already there. You found your destination. You got to work backwards and get all the steps that you need to do. I want to make more money. Okay, how am I going to make more money? What am I doing? How often am I working? Am I working 40 hours a week? Make I got plan. 40 more hours to work. Let's right. make some more money. Make the plan and then work the plan. It's all about execution, people. And everyone that I interact with on a daily basis and that's in the business of real estate um, that is talking about, oh, you know, the market you know, sucks, so there, there, there are not enough homes out there, et cetera. It's, it's all perception, and that just gets you down the wrong mindset, and you're not able to execute because you already have a preconceived notion that's not going to work. So don't, you don't even try to do it. Meanwhile, you got Daniel Kurkowski here, just you know, it's hard, don't pounding, mean I can't the do it. pounding the pavement, getting all your listings. Exactly. And that's true with every, I mean, how many people do you know who are stuck in uh, bad relationships, who are stuck in jobs that they don't like, they feel stuck in them? Everybody at most point in their lives will be in that position. We've all done it. Like, and and the crazy thing is, and I think the great thing about the visualization exercise that we did at the beginning that they recommended that we do is... It, it, it sounds corny. And I know, does. especially if you're driving and you can't close your eyes, pull over, close your eyes, and then do the exercise. But even though it sounds corny, you can Make still do it. You can Keep still your do eyes it. You, open you, you, drive. Can, <laughs> you can get into your, you know, in the morning before you, whatever, you know, go out the door, take three minutes out of the day, visualize the success, wherever you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to achieve, and then take the action. Yeah, because it's so good because you got to know yourself. You got to know how many times uh, do you have friends who are in a situation and they ask you for their advice and you know that they're doing the wrong thing and you tell them, hey, you got to get out of this situation. You, you know, this girl's no good, man. You got to run. And the, and the situation and just never keeps. Listen yeah, and the situation just keeps going and going and going. It's not because they're trying to do something different. No, it's because they're not doing anything about it to to change the situation. And, and this th applies to real estate, to whatever your job is, to your day-to-day, -day, even to today, to Monday. 
if last night you dreaded going to bed because you know it was going to be Monday the next day, you got problems. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, that's if you're looking to a Monday as a huge obstacle in your life, you are already behind. Yeah. I mean, I know having the Monday motivational podcast to look forward to brings it through, makes it a lot easier on everybody. It sets a tone. It, it sets does. a precedence. Exactly. Everybody here at the office, they know it's going to happen. They know the energy is going to come up and they have to just get on that level. You got to be on your hustle. You got to be willing to work. And, you know, the the thing about making these changes and, and taking responsibility, making the choice, making the decision is at first it's going to be hard, man. It's going to be hard. Exactly. Well, let's let's look at your case, for example, uh -oh. uh, the decision to get into real estate. Let everybody know what you were doing before. I was competing professionally in ballroom dancing. Really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, for real. So the day, when did you first think about real estate? I, I was thinking about it. My body started failing a little bit. I was having a tough time being able to do it consistently and then thought, hey, instead of taking care of, you know, doing the passion side of, of my work, you know, something that was just kind of like a hobby that I turned into a job. Uh, I'm like, it's time to get a real job and, and get out there and build some some security for myself. Right. So you didn't just, you know, take a take a seat or take a step back or lay down and take a nap and wait for it to come. What did you do? I got went out, got my real estate license, got proactive, interviewed while I was doing that with a few of the top brokers in the Twin Cities area. Yeah. Uh, met with who's not on this podcast, but we'll get him in here one day. Right. Uh, Ryan Schroeder. And, you know, really gelled with him. He made a lot of sense. I like the vision of what you guys are doing here and wanted to be a part of that so right so it, you took you took action the necessary step when you identified hey I don't like where I am in my life or I don't like what I'm doing currently I'm going to change it and whatever that is in this instance it was real estate for him and he made a point to make a change so the next day he enrolled in um, you know whatever Kaplan or Kaplan yeah shout out Kaplan yeah <laughs> get your get your real estate license to 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 make to take the next step and then you know you obviously then wanted to change um, your aspect of home ownership or you know wanted to be a homeowner and that was wanted your next step wanted to be step. an investor wanted, wanted to, do to be it an, all. exactly so what did you do did you just again take a step back sit down and wait for it to happen absolutely not I was watching I was watching a documentary on Tony Robbins the other day I know shout, you love sh shout out Tony Robbins. Robbins. Shout out Tony Robbins. I know you love Tony. <laughs> was it on Netflix? It was. Was it Don't Be uh, or I'm, oh, not wait, your guru. I'm, I'm Not Your Guru? It yep. was. Yep. Seen it. Great. Got to see it. Yep. But look at all the things that he did in that and, and all the things that all these success coaches teach. It, it's crazy, man, because they're always going, you know, they're not talking to people and saying, well, why don't you sit back, think about it a little bit more, consider your options. He asked them what their situation is. And this one woman up there, she came up, she's got the microphone. She goes, well, I know this guy that I'm with isn't right for me. I'm having a tough time with him. Uh, we're, our personalities just don't gel. Uh, yep, I saw you think that. think that's going to be fixable? So what do you do? Picked up the phone and made the phone call to the guy. <laughs> he called him. So he calls the boyfriend and then hands it to the woman. What? And then the woman does. Uh, she breaks up with the dude. On the spot. On the spot. Thousands of people. Right? Because you got to do it. Like, what, what's the sense of wasting time? The more, the more time you waste, the more time that you're just sitting there trying to make the decision that you already know you need to do. All you're doing is you're costing yourself more time and you're creating worse habits. And, and don't be afraid to take a plunge in the unknown. How much did you know about real estate or investment in real estate or investing in real estate 12 months ago? I knew nothing. Oh. And now I think I'm in He's the 99th percentile you're, of most real estate agents. You're the grandmaster now. I am. I, you went through all the, the, the belts and now you're the grandmaster. I got my red stripe on my black belt. And, I mean, uh, <laughs> investment. if you call Daniel right now, he'll probably give you five investment opportunities within the Twin Cities. Easily. Easily. I always have one. Uh, there's always more deals than I can sell to people who need them. Excellent. I mean, that's exactly the point. Is and that's what you need to do. Execution, take charge, and make it happen. Let's look at let's look at another job too. Just just you know, it's it's easy for us because we think, we talk, we breathe real estate all the time. But let's take another job that uh, let's say it's not typically a sales job. Um, say you're uh, 
uh, secretary, for example, just random thing that I made up off the top of my head. We did not plan this. But, you know, say she's looking at her job. She's feeling unsatisfied. She's not getting everything that she wants out of it. She's not having the position that she wants. What would you tell her to do? Uh, take action. What? Yeah. I mean, pick up the phone, send out some resumes, call people that you know within your sphere to see if there are other opportunities. I think before you even do that, you just have to figure out what you want. Maybe that secretary wants to be a real estate agent. Maybe she wants to be a truck driver. Maybe doctor, doctor, whatever it is. Okay. You know, you got to. Hey, by the way, why'd you make that secretary a her? Well, I said he he or she. 2016, 2016. He or she. He or she. I had to bust him out of that. So, but exactly. Right. And and that's why the simple, simple drill is so important. Just visualize. Just because it's simple. What do I want? Just because it's simple doesn't mean it doesn't work. Of course. A lot of times, simple things are just the right thing to do. And I think a lot of people too, you know, it's very easy to feel like you're not, you're, it's easier not to make a choice, but when you're not making a choice, you're making a choice to do nothing. (laughs) You know, that is a choice. Yeah. It's just like, you know, in sales, right? Yeah. Every interaction and sale happens. They either sell you why they don't want it or you sell them why they do want it. So it, something always happens and you just in this in this instance you really just have to kind of uh make it a point that hey i'm going to take the necessary steps and the action to fulfill whatever need that i want or whatever i'm not satisfied with that i'm going to do take necessary step to make it happen it's not yeah i mean i make the choice to try and go in the gym every day there's a lot of people out there who who make the choice to be fat (laughs) And they make that choice right. uh, to, it, to be out of shape, to be unhealthy, to do, uh, have a you know a crazy haircut, <laughs> to have anything, right, and whatever it is. And and if today on a Monday you're making a choice to go into you know to work late, to wake up late, to sleep in, to not make your call calls, to not make your um, you know whatever meeting appointments or whatnot, that you choose to be below average or average you choose to be the best you want to choose yeah exactly you want to be you want to be the best you want to choose to do it and if your monday started sunday night i think you're going to be ahead by a mile you know from the rest of the people 99 percent of the people you know I, I guess we can end it off on this the the choice i'll just share my personal choices that go, i've been we got, making we got two in, more in the visualization go. um I made this choice a while ago, but it was in what I was doing when I was doing ballroom dancing, when I was, you know, doing playing cards, when I was, you know, playing a game in a monopoly, everything that I do. The choice that I make and the one that I'm always trying to remind myself of to make that commitment to is that no matter what I'm doing, I need to do it to the maximum of my potential. That's my goal. It doesn't matter what it is, it's gonna be to the best of my potential. And that's the obligation that I have to myself. I made myself that promise, I made that choice that that's what I'm gonna do, so I need to do that. I need to push forward and be the best version of whatever I'm doing that I can be. Wow, well said. I mean, Monday Motivation with Daniel Krakowski. And Goran Vazovich. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. This is our first podcast. We'll keep these coming for you every Monday, so keep sharp. Yep. This is the BSM Real Estate Podcast. All things real estate, all the time.